Hello there everybody, it's Mark Watson here. I um, just wanted to give you um, a little bit of input in regards to a question I've been getting, predominantly from my Christian friends. Um, people have been set asking me about Bibles. And one of the most common questions that I get is, especially for my friends that are new Christians, how do you choose which version of the Bible to use? Um, there's multiple editions out there. I mean, I'm not an expert, I'm just giving my view. But the basic one that I would suggest that everyone at least uses is the is the AJV, the King James Version, which is also known as the AV, the authorised version. That's the original Bible as printed in 1711. Or else the new King James Version. As a version of the Bible written in modern English, um, there there are other ver versions of the Bible as well written in modern English. And I would actually suggest that uh, um, a modern English tra translation is purchased. Uh, in my opinion, there's lo loads of different versions out there. There uh, has the NKJV, the that's the New King James Version. There's the NIV, the New International ver Version. Um, the there's the eh, NRSV, the Nihu River, I standard version. Um, there's um, there's um, there's um, the eh, the NLT, the who live in translation. There's the message. There's tons of different versions out there. I mean, people have said, how, how can you decide which one's right for you?" Um, that's really got to be a personal preference. I personally use the NKJV and the NIV. I use the NIV because that's the version my ver that my bleh, that's, that, that's the version sorry that my church teaches from. That's the version we use. And people have um, apart from that, people have also been saying to me, you know, how much did you spend on a Bible? It all depends, really. There's a whole load of different op options. I mean, you can get budget versions. Like this one. This is one of my AJV Bibles, and as you can see, it's just a simple plastic cover with the texts inside. Um, ones like the, this go for round about, about five to seven pounds. But the thing I like about this one, this is the New King James Version, is that if you can see there, you see the writing in red? There, that's Jesus speaking. I mean, simple versions like that, they'll cost you something like five, six pounds. And they do the job. Um, apart from that, there are other versions as well. You can get uh, hardback versions. This is the TNIV hardback that I've got. Um, no, sorry, the NRIV 2011. <laughs> um, this was um, given to me as a gift if when I was baptised um, in November, um, hardback, um, print it on your standard Bible paper, nice clear texts. Um, these ones cost around about some like fifteen pounds, but you know they're very hard wearing, um, quite heavy though. Um, when I had my born again uh, experience, one of my friends sent me some money to get a Bible, and um, this was actually the first ever Bible I bought. It's a version of the NIV, and I really love of this one. I mean, the the language in the NIV in the AJV, it's easy to read, and you know you can, um, it's very easy to read indeed. Um, the reason why I like this version is because you can zip it shut, look. And um, again, the same as the NIV I've just showed you, text and everything are in there. Um, there's a bit of weight to it, but, but it's not, not too heavy. Uh, heavy. Um, as I said, this was the first one that I actually got. Um, I then bought the uh, NKJV on advice of someone on a Christian forum I belong to. 
And the last thing I'm going to tackle is that people have said to me, well, what if you travel around a lot? That can be accommodated as well. There's compact versions, like this, out on the market. Um, some of them zip closed, the same as the one I just showed you, and others like this have got magnetic fasteners. And you know these ones are very, very compact indeed, as you can see. Um, I can fit this easily in one hand, perfectly suitable to go into a bag or or whatever. Text to there like that. And even now, there's something else on the market. Let me show you. Is that if you don't want to go carrying books around, there is an app which should be available on all, all smartphones, iPhones, Android phones, Blackberries. And you see, see if I can bring it into focus. I'm not sure whether you can see. I'm holding my Blackberry at an angle there, but I've got what, an app there called Holy Bible. And the good thing about, about that is that it allows you to choose the Bible ver version that you you want to use, and it it ha has versions in multiple different languages. I mean, um, I'll just show you here, for example. Um, let's focus on that list. I've got the the New Living Translation, the Orthodox. Jewish Bible and the NIV, and you can also uh, oh, with the with this app um, to use different la languages as well. I mean here, for example, I've got Spanish versions up. Um, this this app doesn't cost a hennith to download it's a free app and um you know um, i personally would re recommend that recommend that because that this is the ultimate portability for a bible but when you're looking for a bible it depends really um there's a whole host of different translations out there as i said earlier all in different formats there's your simple but a hundred ones up to your hardbacks your leather bindings and your compact ones. Um, there is actually a website called, uh, I think it's the Bible.com, I think it's called. That's got all of the versions of the Bible on there. If you're not sure which version to but I, have a look at that. That might give you some help. And also, oh, um, have a word with your pastor. They might be able to help as well. I mean, as I said, I brought the NIV because as this is the one we use in my church. And um, what happened, as I said, when I had my high experience, for a friend who, whom I had the experience with, bought me this. I mean, I take Bible study very, very seriously. I do it every day. And, um, you know, because... For Christians, this is one. This is one, if not our hot. This is one of our, our main, if not the main guides that we use. I mean, people have criticised me for it, but, uh, but there is a lot laid out in here. And you're talking to somebody who, who whilst being really. It just is very it is scientific as well, and people say oh, that they're not compatible. I personally don't think that's true, but when it comes to choosing a version of the Bible, it's personal preference and again budget. I mean, in as I said, you've got the New King James is this one, all the way up to the things like the NIV, the Message, etc. And again, budget. You've got your cheap and expensive version here, here for the physical book, and you've got ones like this, leather bar, and that can cost maybe 
25 30 pounds I mean alternatively as I said you could always use the um, smartphone app that doesn't cost anything to use choosing a Bible is personal preference really I mean I use the NIV because that's the one we use in the church and it's one of the most popular easier versions to read um, but again it's all personal preference uh, as with most things in life. Choose one that's right for you.